So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, I wanted to go over two of the questions that I received about the new Google Streamer 4K. Now this, of course, is Google's brand new streaming device that essentially replaced the Chromecast with Google TV and it has a lot to offer. So if you guys haven't seen my full review, go ahead and check it out. I'll go ahead and link it in the description of this video. However, today's video, I wanna focus on two questions that I received in the comments section of the video. First question is about drive storage and what formats are compatible. So we're gonna go ahead and try to answer those today. Today. And the last question is about Plex Media Server. Can I install the Plex Media Server on this device? So we're going to see if we can answer both of those questions. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so if you've seen that review, you know that the new Chromecast only comes with a USB-C port. Now, this USB-C port came with a dedicated plug, and this is just to provide power to this device. But if you watch that video, you know that you can use an OTG adapter to add additional options for your device. And with this OTG adapter, you'll be able to add storage, you'll be able to add USB drives, whatever use you might have for a USB port, that's gonna become available. So. Basically, this is an OTG adapter, USB-C version. We've used these for years on the Fire TV stick, but we do have the C version that will work the same on your new Google TV. So how this works, we're gonna have a USB plug. This is gonna go into the device like this. On the other end, we're gonna have two USB ports. So one is gonna be a USB-C and one is gonna be USB-A. So the original plug that came with the device, you'll plug it in here to provide power. So that will free up this guy. And with this, you should be able to add your storage directly. For today's test, I do have two different storage options just to kind of see if there's any differences between the formats. I have a USB drive, 32 gigs, and I have a 256 SSD. For the SSD, we're gonna be trying three different file formats. NTFS, XFAT, as well as REFS. For the USB drive, we're gonna be trying FAT32, NTFS, and XFAT. Each time, I'm gonna use the same device. That way, there's no discrepancies. I'm gonna format it every time to a different file format, add some files on there, and see how the device reacts to it. So let's go ahead and switch over to the monitor. So I do recommend getting an additional file explorer for your device. For me, I really love File Manager Plus. I've been using it for a couple weeks now, and I did a video on just some of the capabilities. You, you can set up an FTP server with File manager plus and I, I like how everything is right there pretty easy to understand so you can see my main storage and some other other breakdowns but main storage is there when I plug in the USBs we should be able to tell whether it recognizes them or not so first thing let me switch over to the PC so the first thing we're going to try is the test USB so uh, test USB we like I said before we have three formatting options we have FAT32 which is currently formatted as we also have NTFS and XFAT it's currently FAT32 so we're going to plug it into a device and see if it recognizes it all right so you can see um, it is recognizing, you can see it pops right up, USB storage, click on it, you can see all the devices in here. <clears throat> For me, I do have some files in here, test files, so we can see the videos right there. All right, so now I'm just gonna format as NTFS. All right, so test USB formatted, you can see the file type or the file system is NTFS. Let's go ahead and unplug it and try it on the Google TV. All right, so you can see it popped up. Let's go ahead and we'll go over to our File Manager Plus. All right, so you can see main storage is right there. Downloads, I am not seeing it. Let me unplug it and try it again. All right, so you can see nothing right there for NTFS. If I go over to my settings, Go to my storage, all right? So you can see it is showing it, but it's not accessible. If I click on that, the only option that I see is to safely eject it. So as far as the USB, it doesn't seem like NTFS works, but we'll test it again on the SSD to see if there's any difference. And this time we're gonna format again, and we're gonna format to XFAT. All right, now we're gonna plug in USB XFAT into the Google TV. All right, so it did recognize it. If 
I click on it go home USB does show up and I'm able to get to all the files so so far on the USB fat32 and xfat works NTFS does not let's switch it over to the SSD to just get to where most of you guys want to get to is we're going to test NTFS first just to see if that works on the SSD all right so this is the SSD NTFS it does pop up like it normally does I go to the file manager you can see the drive does not show up either let me go home I'm going to go to my settings I'm gonna go to my system and down to storage. All right, so nothing here doesn't even recognize. So this could be one of two issues. Either it just doesn't recognize NTFS on the SSD or it's not providing enough power. One way to narrow this down is to try a different file format on the SSD and see if it recognizes. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see it is NTFS right there. We're gonna go ahead and format and Let's go to XFAT. All right. Back over to the Google streamer. All right, so it pops up once again. And again, going here, looks like we cannot find the drive. All right, so it doesn't even show up. So. So let me try maybe a different power brick and we'll just see if that makes a difference. All right, so different power brick, I'm just gonna try to plug it back in and see if it was a power issue. All right, so it popped up like it did before. File manager is gonna be the same thing, not showing up. All right, so I just plugged in my uh, a hard drive enclosure. This is gonna have its own power, so it shouldn't be taking much from the OTG adapter. Uh, it's a couple terabytes, so we'll see how that works. So I click on it, um, still nothing there. So here, last ditch effort, I do have a micro SD card, and this is inserted into a USB hub. So um, I'll, sh I'll put a picture of what it looks like. Uh, they, find these easily but it's uh, micro SD to USB so total size I believe is 124 gigs but um, you can see 119 is available I did format this NTFS added the same files on it so let's put it into the Google streamer and see if it actually works all right so you can see it pops up Click okay all right saying there's an issue with the drive Nothing's popped up there. So it does see it, it just really can't do anything with it. Same thing that it did um, when I formatted the other USB drive to NTFS. So, so let's go ahead and kind of summarize this. So as far as compatibility, NTFS across the board did not work with this new Google TV. When it came to the SSDs, none of them work with the streaming box. At first I thought it was related to a power issue. So I tried different power adapters. Also, I had a enclosure that's already self-powered that I plugged in, didn't recognize it either. So it won't take larger drives and it won't take an SSD. Now, as far as the USB drives, um, XFAT, FAT32 works, NTFS did not. And the same thing with the micro SD card, all the other formats work, but NTFS. And also one more thing I want to point it out. I did try multiple drives. I do have a SanDisk here that I tried SSD did not get recognized at all. Do have another drive that didn't get recognized. So um, just seems like the hard drives across the board are not being recognized. So the next question I wanted to address is one that came up about Plex Media Server. So Media Server we know is available for the NVIDIA Shield TV, which means that there's an APK out there. With an APK available, you can extract the APK and install it on other Android devices if they're the same chipset. So for this device, I'll show you the chipset here in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and see if I can install this on the new Google TV. All right, so I'm going to go to my favorite file explorer. For me, it's File Manager Plus. There's some other ones out there that's really good as well. Click on it. And you can see my USB is um, mounted. So let's click on that. We're going to go all the way down. I do have a test folder on here. All right, so there's a test folder. I'm going to select it. And if I scroll down, you can see there is a 
complex media server APK. Um, this does require your system to be a 64 bit system, which this is, even though it's running 32 bits, we'll see if we're able to install it. So we're gonna click on it. All right, do you wanna install this app? Yes. And you can see it tells you that this isn't compatible with your TV. So the reason that failed is because in order to have Plex Media Server installed, your system needs to be a 64-bit system. If you guys seen the initial review when I went to IDA64, I go down to CPU, you can see the right that the chipset is 64-bit. However, it is running 32-bit mode, which means that a 64-bit application is not gonna be compatible. So unfortunately, guys, no Plex server on this. However, you can still install the client app and it should still be able to run normally.